Welcome to this video on predicting rate equations from reaction mechanisms. So imagine that we have a reaction mechanism that's taking place. So this is the overall equation for the reaction. And uh, this is a proposed mechanism for the reaction. So what would the rate equation be or the rate law be that arose from this particular mechanism? And so let's imagine here this is a one step mechanism. Uh, we've got two HBr molecules colliding with an O2 molecule. As an aside, this is an incredibly unlikely mechanism. Bimolecular collisions are unlikely enough as it is. Trimolecular collisions are almost unheard of. But anyway, let's go ahead and predict what the rate equation will be. The key thing to, to notice here is that what we've got happening is this trimolecular collision event. And so the rate of reaction will depend on the concentration of oxygen. So we could say rate equals K times concentration of oxygen. But then we've also got dependence on the concentration of HBr. Now because we need two HBrs in order for the step to happen, then we've got a square dependence on that. And so the general rule to think about is that the rate equation is that the rate of reaction will, or so the reaction orders, let's say, reaction orders match the stoichiometry of the reactants. Okay, so that's a, that's the key point. Right, let's look at a second mechanism here. So let's think about this three-step mechanism, slow step first. Now you may want to pause the video now and see if you can predict what you think the rate equation will be. Well, in this case, because we've got a multi-step mechanism, remember the point we made in the last video was that essentially the rate is determined just by this step here because it's the slow step or the rate determining step. And so what I can write here is simply use this step here to tell me what the rate equation will be. So in this case, we're going to have rate equals K times HBr concentration because that and the order for that one will be 1. I won't write it in because we've got one HBr here. So if I just put that in color, just to see, so we've got one HBr in there, so order one. And similarly for oxygen, oxygen is in the rate determining step, uh, and the order for oxygen will also be one because there is indeed one oxygen in there. So that is the rate law you'd expect from this particular mechanism. Okay, now let's have a think about this mechanism here. So pause the video again and see if you can write down, using what you've learned from the last two examples, what the rate equation would be if this is the correct mechanism. Well, in fact, this is very similar to the last one. The only difference is we've switched which steps are slow and fast. So now this middle step is the slow step. Now, what you've probably wrote down is the following. You've seen the fact that there's one of these uh, HO2Br molecules and one HBr in the rate determining step, and so this should be the rate equation. Now, unfortunately, that's not correct. Pause the video and see if you can work out why. Well, it's because the rate equation must contain reactants. And what we've got here is actually an intermediate creeping in. So this is actually HO2Br. It's not a reactant. It's actually an intermediate. So what we need to do if we want to try and determine the rate equation is to think carefully about where that intermediate actually came from. <coughs> this is HO2Br intermediate. And we can see if we look back that it was actually formed in a fast step. So what we can do here is basically say that the concentration of that intermediate is going to be determined by the concentration of the species which formed it. Now this is only an approximation and there are various ways of showing this with a little bit more rigor, but for the purposes of A-level it's sufficient to uh, essentially make a replacement of replacing the concentration of the intermediate with the product of the concentrations of the species that formed it in preceding fast steps. Now, feel free to rewind and listen to that again if it didn't make sense, but that's what I'm going to do. 
So I'm going to see that what happened here is that this was formed by one oxygen and one HBr. And so I'm simply going to replace HO2Br with an HBr and an O2. And they remember there's still going to be an HBr here. And so overall what I've got in this is a second order with reaction with respect to hydrogen bromide and a first order reaction with respect to oxygen. Overall order three. And just as a little hint, whenever you've got reactions with order more than two, you're going to be expecting something like this to be happening because otherwise a trimolecular slow step is incredibly unlikely.